Number 11 then from paper one of the 2017 higher maths. Just three marks. Equation of line, gradients type question. Usually there. Given these two points, it says AB, the line segment AB, is parallel to this line. What's the value of this unknown A? Well, the sort of obvious way to go about that would be to say, well, if that's parallel to this, they've both got the same gradient. So get their gradients and equate them to find this unknown part A. So I'll do it that way. What's the gradient of AB? Well, it'll be the difference in the Y coordinates over the difference in the X coordinates. You can write Y2 minus Y1 or X2 minus X1 or delta Y over delta X. It's only the one mark in the exam, so I'll just jump straight in with y2 minus y1, since they're staring me in the face here, a minus 2, over x2 minus x1, 5. I could leap in with b, but maybe I'll just be a bit more rigorous, as they say, and leave it as takeaway negative 7. So that leaves you with a minus 2 upon 12. Doing that gets you a mark. If you did that first, you may well have done this one first. It doesn't matter which order you do them in. Now, to get the gradient of this one, you want it in its standard form. So that means 3y is 2x plus 4, which means y is 2 thirds of x plus 4 upon 3, which I'm not really interested, from which you extract the gradient, the coefficient of x, 2 thirds. There's the other mark. So it's one for one and one for the other, whichever order you did them in. The important bit is, if that's parallel to this, these gradients are the same. Don't need to make a statement. I'll put it down. Parallel means a minus 2 upon 12 must be the same as 2 thirds. So a minus 2, we take that 12 across, and that will come to 8. Take the 2 across and add it, and that gives you 10. And there's the final mark. Fairly straightforward, so there's not much to comment on as far as the Martin scheme goes. Or, you could say this instead, if this line is parallel to this one, then you could find the equation of the line through A, which is parallel to it, and since B lies on it, fit the coordinates of B into it. So you'd start off, as before, rearrange that one there, which was the 2 thirds of X plus 4 upon 3, so you've got M equals 2 thirds, for the first mark. Find the equation of the line through A parallel to it. So you would say y minus the y coordinate is the gradient times x minus the x coordinate. I think I'll just jump in with a plus 7. That would give you the second mark. Notice I've not tidied it up because it didn't explicitly ask me for that equation. And then finally, if this point lies on that line, because that's the equation of the line through A parallel to it, then putting 5 and A into this, so A is the Y coordinate, you've got A minus 2 is 2 thirds of 5 plus 7. It's the same, exact same calculation. A minus 2 is 24 over 3, 8. A equals 10 as before.